Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Uh, that is always greatly appreciated. Uh, and thank you so much for all the comments. I've been getting some really fantastic comments lately on vids and uh, always enjoy the heck out of them. So uh, to all those of who, who have commented, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, <clears throat> on with the good stuff. So I've got a fantastic shave lined up today. I'm very excited about this one. I know you've seen the title. Uh, so we'll get into this guy in just a moment, but uh, super, super fantastic. And I uh, think this guy is going to yield uh, some, some wonderful shaving experience this afternoon. To that, let's do as we always do. We're going to do the one passer, shama lemon ding dong, out the door, leave the goatee. And uh, let's start off with tools of the trade. Got some cool stuff set up here today. This guy is fantastic. Uh, this was a hell of a find. And let's get to it. This is a 1976 Gillette Knack TTO. Uh, and this is made in Mexico. This is, a, this is a rare little beast. This is not easy to find. So uh, super fantastic and so thankful that I nailed it. Uh, this is from Razor Emporium. Uh, they completely redid the head on this uh, as far as just the refinishing it. And they did it in the nickel. And uh, it's just beautiful. Look at that thing. It's just good to go. So they, they're so good at, uh, at getting these and then basically bringing these back to their original beauty. Love that it's in the nickel because that's how it would have come uh, or been delivered back in 1976. So um, I, I just love this part of it. So you could just basically turn this TTO and get yourself situated. Uh, or you could do the little spin the bottom. Just love the little touch here of, of the nickel at the bottom as well. Just kind of uh, plays off. It's so beautifully. Just beautiful little piece. I, I saw this and I couldn't resist. Okay, enough geeking out on that guy. Uh, we're going to drop in the sweet little Balzano there and get this guy all squared away. And it does have a... Oops, sorry, I almost went the wrong way on that one. Nice lock up on there. And um, just a small amount of blade play there. Uh, less than you'd find on a super speed for sure. Um, but just a little bit you can see there hanging over. And our blade alignment looks... It's just phenomenal. I, I mean, look, it's just it's just set in there, gorgeous. So, so first shave with this guy will be here uh, this afternoon. So uh, we'll see how this does. I, I have no clue whatsoever. Okay, enough about that guy. Down below, uh, these two uh, have been have made several appearances in videos. So you'll very be very familiar with them if you watch my stuff before. So the Samog uh, 730 HD silver tip badger uh these are all handmade in portugal this guy's fantastic and that's why i, I do love to use them and then also uh we're going to go again with the lather bowl uh the, the honeycomb bowl which i call the lather monster uh so this is from vanule so a little opus co up opus brush co uh special edition they did the kind of the graphic here on the bottom which is very very cool so this guy's also beast all right <clears throat> All that stuff out of the way, which is great, great stuff, but let's get to the star of the show uh, and let's get to soap of the day. This is by Alien Shave and this is Samurai. Uh, this is not out yet, so this is a very, very special sneak preview. Um, they were kind enough to send this out to me, uh, reached out and said, hey, would you like to try this new one? It's it's you know not even you know on, on the radar just yet or just not released yet. I, absolutely, by all means. I have three others of theirs and they all went off fantastic. They were all wonderful shaves and wonderful experiences. And it's been a hot minute since I've done uh, an alien shave uh, soap. So uh, thrilled to have it, beautiful graphic. I mean, that is just, that is killer. So love what we got going on here. Their tubs uh, are, are just baffle me. I, I I literally kept tapping on this, and I mean, look at look at the look at the how beautiful it. I thought it was glass. I kept tapping, thinking, are they using glass tubs now? I'm like, I forget. And no, nope, it is a plastic, but it is just so clean and beautiful. And and just look at that. Look at the shimmer on it, and it really has the appearance of glass. It's fantastic. Uh, just nice clean label in the back there. And while we're here, uh, let me give you what we got going because this Formula 51 base is exceptional. I love it. It yields a wonderful shave. You have some of the highlights, the goat milk. You'll see the shea butter in there, the honey, the coconut oil, palm oil, 
argan oil and glycerin. So those are the main ones that are going to give you that, you know, uh, that beautiful lather and, and basically the nice glide and residual slickness, so we hope. And that coconut oil is what gives us this beautiful sheen because look at that pour. Their pours are just always really fantastic. Look at that. It's beautiful. Okay, <clears throat> on to some good stuff here. I don't know pricing on this, so I apologize. And this does appear to be your standard four ounce uh, tub on here. So yeah, so it looks like it's a four ouncer. And whew, the scent coming at me is just fantastic. The scent is, is completely beautiful. Now you think samurai and you're thinking like, oh, I want it's gonna be like a colony masculine type thing. It is a beautiful scent. <clears throat> so what I'm picking up right off the puck is I get a beautiful rose with this gorgeous musk. And then I, there's a patchouli in there and I, and I reached out and I'm like, this patchouli is kind of, I'm trying to chase this patchouli. So in speaking with them, I was informed that it's a, it's a USA harvested uh, patchouli that is a bit more minty. And that's what was getting me. I was just trying to figure out this patchouli and it's a beautiful one because I'm not a huge patchouli fan. I like them when they're more sweeter and definitely this, this USA version, uh, this minty is beautiful. So just gorgeous scent coming off here. And uh, just to kind of give you an idea, it, it, when I smell this, it reminds me of just like this, uh, just really high-end incense. Like walking into a particular store and you just, and you catch this scent coming from some type of incense and you're like, wow, that really just kind of stops you in your tracks. And you're kind of like, man, that is a beautiful incense smell or just scent in, in particular. So in that, I was trying to think of like, okay, an incense scent for this particular samurai shave soap. And I was reminded that back in the day, samurai warriors would perfume their helmets and their armor uh, with incense to cleanse their body, mind, and soul for battle, as well as a possibility of meeting their fate. So perfect play. I had no idea that's where they're going to, and it could be wrong if that's where he was, you know, what they were chasing over at Alien Shave, but that's a fantastic way to take this. If that's what they're going for, and it very well may be, I'll have to confirm it, um, but that's a great play to take that beautiful portion of the samurai embodiment and put it into this with that incense gorgeous smell. Ah, boom, noodle baked. Let's get this in the tub. Let me wet the face because I'm several hours out of the shower. I'm sorry, there's a lot of jib and jab, but very cool backstory. Um, at least that's what I think they're going with. And let's get this thing, uh, let's get it rolling. So I'm going to get some of this out of here. And they're tough. Their pucks are always kind of the same format. Um, it's almost like a, a, like a, almost like a little bit hard putty type of thing. So, and I'll get some of this in here and I'll show you in a second. So, oh, so you can see there. So that's, it always kind of comes off almost like it shears off in layers. It's very cool. It really is. Okay, and let me get some of this guy in this bowl. Nice to be back, kind of, you know, <laughs> in my little setup here. Uh, was away on vacation. Just got back yesterday from the Keys and uh, boy, it was just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I posted some pics and actually did some stuff while I was down there as well. Um, boy, oh boy, it was just a wonderful, wonderful time. So, so nice to get away. It had been a while since I had a chance to kind of break off and just enjoy some time with the family. So, much needed and wonderful. All right. These pucks are a little bit on the harder side. So, I'm just shaving some off and I'll show you one second here. That water. So you can see, that's what we're working with there. I'm going to put one more little dollop, but that looks like it's pretty darn good. Let me just get one more little pinch in there. Because I know what I like. And this, these soaps usually go really, really well. So, okay. So I'll give you the end result. There you go. Just add a pinch more. Okay. All right. Let me wet the face. All right, let's get to it. Put my little Samoge here. 
interested to see um, how this razor does too. I have no idea if it's a mild shave, if it's an aggressive shave. So I have a feeling it's going to be more on the mild side. Um, 76 was kind of, I think there'd be like close to where the last of the TTOs were kind of done. So, wow, look at this go. Literally, I, I'm going to do seven, eight turns on it. Beautiful. Um, so I think that's, you know, which would be in that realm of a nice mild shave. Wow, that is beautiful. So same aspects coming out, just really punching up very nice, getting a nice kind of pungent scent coming out of there. Nothing overbearing, but beautiful. Wow. That's a beautiful scent. You got to be so particular how you work with rose. Um, and the rose in here is just gorgeous. Because you could just kill something in two seconds with too much rose for sure. I'm going to add a little bit more water. But look at the base. This base, I tell you, they, they've got it down. They found their little secret sauce with this particular base and uh, and they that's it, boom, done, here you go. And every single time I work with it, this is what I get. Look at that texture. And I've added very, very little water thus far. Um, so I'm gonna add a smidge more and just go with this. Because this is just turning into a thing of beauty. I love what I got going on here. Wowzer. Oh, that smell. Oh, man. I, I'm telling you, it, you know, it's a beautiful, sweet, and, and, and incense is really kind of, uh, I'm going to ditch these. You have all the pertinent info. Uh, that incense is really kind of where I, I, I it just keeps leading me. Uh, like walk into a, like a beautiful samurai store, uh, you know, with all the armor and just, and that's what you would be smelling burning in the background, man. And would force you to buy stuff. It's fantastic. All right, this is, look at this. So need I say more? This is a beautiful base. Oh, come on, look at this. Um, oh, that's wonderful, man. And I'm, it's, I'm very glad to, to be utilizing this one today because, uh, and I'm gonna start rubbing this, working this guy in a second. Um, I've just been doing so many citrus uh, shaves Nothing wrong with it. I love the citrus. It's very nice summertime, um, but I definitely needed a break from all of the citrus. Just been getting hit with a lot of citrus lately, and I was just like, man, I could use something a little bit different. And this came in. Look at this, and I'm nowhere near ready to go. Look at it. I'll add a little more water, but holy mackerel. This is, oh, come on. I love my shirt. It is really fantastic. Well, oh, actually, this is, I kind of like it like this. You know, I, I like when it's like spackle. It's just got that deep texture. I've got at least three days on me here, so I'm going to agitate the hairs a bit and get them loosened up. But holy, this, this is, uh, this formula, it, it's killer. It's killer. I, I mean, it truly is. Man, their soaps, uh, I absolutely enjoy. Absolutely enjoy. This is just, I, you know, I mean, come on. I don't know what you could say about this soap uh, other than just fantastic. I mean, absolutely fantastic. Wonderful ingredients, wonderfully blended. The scent profile up here is ridiculous. This is... um. This is gorgeous. I mean, this is truly captivating. This is the kind of scent that I love when you get where it takes you somewhere else. I, I literally feel like I'm in some beautiful location and I'm just getting hit with this smell, like literally in, coming out of a shop or, or some backyard where people are, are meditating or and it just it just takes you out of your head and that's really cool. Um, it doesn't happen all that often. And when it does, I got to say, uh, it really just, it, it, I love it. It just speaks to me. Oh my gosh, it's so wonderful. This is, this is a must get. I mean, this is truly, this is a must get. This is, the lather is so thick. And I mean, again, I could have added more water, but 
I found where I like it, which is that look. And you just paint this on into pure luxury. That's it. There it is. Enjoy. Man, oh man, I wish you guys and gals could be feeling this right now. Uh, it is a, a thing of beauty. Very, very, very well done. So, like, look at that. And we'll do the soap shot at the end. But, I mean, you know, I just have to say, oh, that's gorgeous. That's, and I literally, I could have added more water and kept going. No problem at all. All right. I'm really yapping today. This one's a beaut. All right, we got this on lockdown. Let's get it heated up. 1976 neck from Mexico. All right, let's go. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that has a lovely feel to it. Channeling beautiful because it's a Gillette. And now, give me the trifecta. Oh, thank you. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Nice residual on there. Oh my God, This look at that. No problem. Got you covered. Nice residual, taking me home. Oh my, oh wow, this thing's, this thing's wonderful. That is clean as can be. Wow, you literally, you wouldn't even need to do a two pass on this. Okay, the scents are, um, they, again, it's wonderful. They've really kind of stayed the course as far as uh, the types. They've kind of punched up as overall in the level of intensity. But it's that beautiful rose musk and that minty patchouli. And there's just the ever, ever slight bit of orange. Just ever so slight. Oh, my gosh. That is a gorgeous scent. Oh my God, I love this razor. This razor is really awesome. Wow, if anybody's ever used one of these knacks, please uh, shoot the comments, let me know. Wow, wonderful. Um, this is the first time I've ever used a knack, and I, I gotta say, it's really quite pleasing. It's very, very nice. Wow, samurai. But I'm definitely a fan of, of the Alien Shaped Soaps. And uh, I don't know these guys personally. Um, they certainly seem like wonderful, wonderful people whenever I, you know, uh, DM and so forth. And uh, I just big fan, love what they do. I've yet to have a product of theirs that I didn't go, wow, that's really cool. But that's what happens when you take your time and you're well thought out and you know what you're doing. Wow, this race was fantastic. Did a great job under here as well, as per usual with the Gillette. Sorry, I don't mean to get right in your, your space there. Uh, wowzer. Scent is just doing its thing, man, this whole time. It's been very lovely. Very, very lovely. I feel like I should be Kidding up for battle, man, and blessing my armor and my helmet with this gorgeous scent makes makes perfect logic to me. This is what you'd want to be smelling if you were heading out. It's gorgeous. And if that be the case is where what Alien Shave was looking to do, they completely embodied that thought process into this scent. Gorgeous. All right, I'm good here. I really am. This, this thing did a great job. Wonderful cleanup. All right, all right, all right. Let's get to my favorite towel. This thing. Ooh. I missed this while I was away. Did my shave without it. This thing's fantastic. Lancaster Razor Works Tobacco Ash. It's so soft. Oh, it's just such a nice feeling after you shave to have that. 
All right. Oh, wow. Beautiful cleanup. Knack killed it. Uh, good job there, Mexico. That scent is beautiful. That's such a winner. Oh, winner all day long. Soap shop. Let's get to it, man. Uh, I mean, I really kind of already pulled it, so I think you guys get what I got here. Oh, oh man. That is so deep and just so gorgeous. Holy mackerel. I mean, look at that. That is just, oh, that is, oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. That rose is just, uh, it's just unbelievable. Oh, that's a, that's a, that is a gorgeous scent. Gorgeous. Should bottle that. That one, really, honestly, I, if there's a, a splash coming with this, and I apologize, I, I don't know. Um, oh, my God, all day long. I'm not big on buying the sets. If that comes with a splash, absolutely. I think that's the first time I've ever said that. That smell is crazy good. All right, one and done, done and dusted. Sorry if I chipped and jammed a little bit too much there sometimes. It just takes me a certain way. So uh, hope you enjoyed the shave as much as I did. Always a pleasure to do this for you guys and gals. Catch you on the next one. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Thank you.